Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a China Glaze Smushy and Maniology stickers to play with. I've started off with Neltix Formula 2. I'll be using Brave Steva Polish Shut Out Beautiful White Cream and I'm going to start off by capping my free edge. I've already got my base coat down and dry so we're ready to go. I'm going to go in with this first coat. Now I've talked many 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 times on my channel about how I have a love-hate relationship with white polishes and I've heard from many of my friends here that lots of us have the same love-hate struggle with white polishes. This is probably my favorite one ever. As you can see I'm not having a lot of trouble controlling it and if I wasn't so heavy-handed I could probably get away with one coat. It's that good. It's a really good white cream. Very opaque, not runny, not too thick and goopy. Perfect. So there we go. I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Since I am doing a smushy, I'm not too worried about it being a perfect base. There might be, like if I just wore this on its own, it might have some like see-through spots or, you know, not perfectly done. But since it's a smushy, we're going to roll with it. I'll be using IMK PLEs around my fingertips and China Glazes Tarty for the Party. It's an oldie but goodie. An active color from China Glaze called Made for Peach Other. I'll be using my Ch Shelby Stamp Stamper. It's just a squishy stamper. And since I'm not worried about placement, I'm not worried about it being clear, so that's why I'm using, you know, a solid stamper. I'm just going in on my little mat and adding drops of the different polishes down. I'm going to take my little stamper and kind of give it a little swirl and start applying it to my nails. Just kind of rolling it, dabbing it. And I love this technique and do not play with it often enough. I think that smishy manicures are awesome. But as y'all have seen on my channel, sometimes, you know, I get into tr trends or get hooked on you know a certain technique and I'll do them and do them and do them so maybe we'll see some more smushies here soon but I always love the look of them they just look so good to me and they're easy I like that so I've reloaded my mat with some more of the polishes and I'm gonna just keep dabbing in and what you do with this is you just keep doing it until you like it if it starts getting muddy looking you can go over it some more like if you need more peach, you just add a little bit more peach and just keep rocking on. Or if you need a little more purple or if one nail needs a little bit more something, you just keep rolling and keep doing it. I love it. I love the possibilities of a smushy. And they're just fun. <laughs> so there you go. You see I'm just dabbing in some more. Kind of looking over everything, seeing how I'm liking it. And this did get a little purple for me, so I'm going to add in some more peach. Just put some peach on the mat. And there we go. A little bit more peach. Sometimes you just don't know how the colors are going to play well together until you do it. Don't be scared. Just jump in. Do it. So this is how I clean my stamper off. I just use my lint roller and it all comes off. Now we're going to get this latex off. I'm using my little Wistonia tweezers. Well, I'm tempting to use my Wistonia tweezers. <laughs> there we go. Getting that stuff off of there. I love, love the easier cleanup. So there we go. Little bits and pieces still trying to hang on. And I am going to go in with my cleanup brush and some acetone real quick and do a little bit of cleaning up here. Not a whole lot to do, but the ninny in me made me do it. <laughs> I like to do cleanup before I do top coat, so that is why we do it that way. I'm adding some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat to this manicure. I'm going to get it all to smooth out, dry down, so we can use these stickers for maniology. I am capping that little wee free edge there. So there we have it. Now these are the Maniology MD339 stickers that came in my kit or my little last surprise package from them. 
um, my tear gifts. There was a lot of interest to see me do a manicure with these um, little stickers. And you will see me struggling. <clears throat> I do go a little crazy. I might have used too many stickers, but I was so excited to play that I just kept going, like I do a lot of times. But if you do this manicure or something like it, you don't have to go as crazy as I did. Or hey, you could even go crazier than I did. It's up to you. It's personal preference. But I loved all the stickers and I wanted to use some of everything. The dragonflies, the flowers, the beautiful butterflies. There's so many different butterfly images. And really, honestly, stickers should be the easiest like nail art there is. But I make it look so much harder than it should be. Here we go. And then trying to figure out where I want to place them. And then not getting them to release where I want them. It's just, it's a personal thing. It's nothing wrong with the stickers. The stickers are awesome. They're not too thick. Um, I have had some stickers in the past that were just thick and clumpy. And these are a little thick. You're definitely going to want a nice, thick, glossy top coat on top. Um, but they're not... I didn't have any trouble with any of them trying to pop up or, you know, I didn't feel any real thickness, lumpy bumpiness to it after, you know, the whole manicure had dried. And I really do like the color of them. <laughs> Another butterfly. There we go. There it goes right there. We're just going to stick it right there. Get me another one of these flowers. And these flowers are really cute because the stems kind of twirl down and the, there's a heart in the stem. And I thought that was really cute. So there we have that to done. So now we're going to keep playing because that's what Tina does. I know y'all thought I was done. I wasn't. I've got a little more room left on my thumb. <laughs> I know. But I really wanted to play with these stickers. So I just went all out. I don't got to mess up on the other nail. I'm just not going to look at that. There we go. Awesome sauce. I love it. So I do have a code for Maniology. Um, if you use my code, you get 10% off your order. Um, and I just, you know, I love, I love Maniology stuff been a love affair for way back when they were Bundle Monster. So I'm going to top this one with some posh top coat. I'm going to seal this one down. And I only do one coat of top coat over these stickers and I wore it for several days and had no issues with anything popping up or getting, you know, caught on things. So here comes my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from you. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time. Be good to yourself.